Hey people, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. A renowned South South leader says he's ready to go to prison and that he's ready also to be tried on the basis of treasonable felony if President Muhammadu Buhari does not do some of the demands which he has already laid before him. And he also called to the tensions of Nigerians about what Biafra and uh, Yoruba agitators are doing. And to him, it's just a child play that when the time is up, what the country will see will be unthinkable. We're going to be looking at uh, the perspective is coming from. It's a very long read and you just have to follow us line by line, precept by precept. But before we give you full details of the news, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. The former Federal Commissioner of Information and South South leader Chief Edwin Clark has warned that the struggle by indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and Yoruba nation agitators will be a child's play in Nigeria if the country fails to restructure, just as he warned that there will be chaos in this country. According to Clark, the agitation for self determination and cessations will definitely increase and the security situation of the country will be worsened and the conduct of 2023 general and presidential election will be threatened. Clark, who alleged that the National Assembly spent about 1 billion naira annually in trying to review the nation's constitution without making any headway, said the National Assembly has been spending 1 billion naira every year on amendment on amending the constitution of Nigeria for years now, they have not been able to do so. The John leader who noted that the South, the North, and the entire country are calling for restructuring urged President Muhammadu Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, convoke a representative assembly or town hall meetings to consider Governor Nasa E. Rufai of Kaduna State or Progressive Congress APC Committee Report of Restructuring or that of 2014 National Conference Report. Addressing journalists yesterday at his Asokoro resident Abuja, the leader of Southern and Middle Belt Leader Forum, SMBLF, warned that President Buhari must not allow Nigeria to break due to what he described as the totalitarian attitude of one individual just as they stress that restructuring has become very imperative because it was one of the key priorities in the APC manifesto when it was formed and during the 2015 manifesto sorry during the 2015 presidential campaign which have not been abandoned on the assumption of office by the president he said that the APC cannot implement its own committee recommendation. It means that it lacked the necessary capacity under President Muhammadu Buhari. The elder statesman who noted that he is close to 95 years and speaking on behalf of fellow elders and Nigerians said that he will not stop talking. Mm. He will not stop talking. I'll take that again, sorry. The elder statesman who noted that he is close to 95 years and speaking on behalf of fellow elders and Nigerians said that he will not stop talking and writing to President Muhammadu Buhari about Nigeria and its challenges, adding that nobody will be a slave to another in the country and that the president is not an emperor or a king, but elected by the people to serve Nigeria and Nigerians irrespective of race, religion, or ethnic group. According to him, Nigeria must be ready to fight for liberation as the prison is not only for thieves, but for those who are fighting for the interests of this country, adding that some of them are ready to go for treasonable trial against the backdrop that nobody loves this country more than himself and that enough is enough. According to the words of Clark, he said, Mr. President, I beg of you, in the name of Almighty God, I am now very close to 95 years, and on behalf of my fellow elders and our children, act now. We have no other country to call our own. 
no other country to go to Nigeria to go to if Nigeria breaks due to the authoritarian attitude of one individual. Please retrace your step and embrace and implement your party's report, the Elder, sorry, the Erufai APC Committee report. Nigeria will accept it. The South is calling for restructuring. The North is calling for restructuring. The whole country is calling for restructuring and they believe in restructuring. The restructuring was also one of the key priority issues in his party. The APC manifesto, when it was formed and during the 2015 presidential campaign, which he has now abandoned on the assumption of office. I challenge Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari as the de facto controller of the APC to convoke a representative assembly or town hall meeting to consider only the APC report on restructuring if he sincerely believes in the unity of Nigeria, where everyone is a stakeholder, not in Nigeria, where only a few people or one ethnic group who are in minority keep displaying autocratic and imperialic stance, reminding us of what their forefathers did over 100 years ago, wanting to do the same thing today. Of course, it is a capital no. It may be necessary here to remind Nigerians the role played to by our illustrious son, late General Muhammad Muntala Mohammed, in the elimination of apathy in South Africa when he was in office for only six months. It is therefore unimaginable and understandable that an officer in the government of General Muntala Mohammed will be the one to create an obstacle or oppose what his former boss instituted, and this was what our beloved late General Mutala Mohammed went to South Africa to fight against. The National Executive of the APC, in a meeting which was attended by Mr. President Buhari himself as a party member, accepted the report of a Rufai committee and stated that it, was, it will be sent to the National Assembly. However, same Mr. President has refused to take any definite action for the report to be sent to the NAS. What several Nigerians want is actually the restructuring of the country in order to dose the tension and agitation which is almost tearing the country apart today and is the main cause of the high insecurity being experienced. Nigerians are ready to accept the implementation of the 2014 National Conference or the APC El Rufai Committee report, any of which will no doubt satisfy the generality of the Nigerian people. It is indeed shameful and unpatriotic for the leader of APC to pretend that they have not seen the El Rufai Committee report or even the 2014 National Conference report. Some are even shamelessly stating that they do not know what restructuring means and allowed President Muhammadu Buhari to take over total control and direction of the party's government. Instead, they are more interested in whom is to take over from him in 2023, for which they pretentiously worship him like God just to gain favor. The Tinibu who brought restructuring to the manifesto of APC has not spoken because they fear that if they do, they will not be allowed to contest for presidency of the country come 2023, for which his party, the APC, faced with stiff opposition for not implementing the promised restructuring program. So, the party's national executive, including President Muhammadu Buhari, decided to set up a committee under the chairmanship of Nasser El Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, with other prominent party members as members of the committee. The committee called for memoranda from Nigerians, went around the country, and came out with a report that portrays restructuring. Nigeria must be ready. The prison is not only for thieves. It is meant for those who are fighting for the interests of their country. Some of us are ready for treasonable trial. We are ready to go. Nobody loves this country more than myself. Enough is enough. As I said, I am speaking on behalf of the majority of Nigerians who are aggrieved. A meeting called by Mr. President to Asso Rock of Representative of Nigeria will not last more than one day. 
the executive will then prepare a memorandum to the National Assembly, and within three or four months, they will be completed. The National Assembly has been spending one billion naira every year on amendment or amending the constitution of Nigeria for years now. They have not been able to do so. So, if the APC is a party ruling Nigeria today, it means it lacks power under President Muhammadu Buhari to implement whatever they want to implement in the interest of Nigeria. So, the in so the issue of time does not arise. If they want to go do it within six months, it will be carried out. Otherwise, the problem of IPOP and others will join. Let me warn you that this country does not belong to a few individuals. What IPOP is doing, what the Yorubas are doing is still child's play. No other Nigeria is prepared to subjugate himself. We may all join and there will be chaos in the country. Some of us are already on our way out. But why should we live in Nigeria that God has given to us, the biggest country in Africa with resources, human resources, after the United States of America? I don't think there's anyone that can treat us like second-hand citizens. But what are we doing with our resources? It's a very big one, I'm telling you. And um, looking at the time, I may say very little about it, but I, I like you to have to contribute to this statement made by Clark in our comment session. Let's meet there so that we can discuss extensively, pick out some of the key things he has said, and let's talk about it, especially as it has to do with.